everyone. Happy first Friday of February. I hope you're all having a great day. That was really hard to say. Um, we are here today to do a treatment for laser tattoo removal with the ATV laser. This month, we are going to lighten up and pucker up at Johnson Dermatology, getting ready for Valentine's Day. And so we have lots of ways to lighten up at Johnson Dermatology. We have treatments to dissolve submental fat. We have treatments that dissolve fat with ultrasound. We have um, lightening products like hydroquinone and Lytera and chemical peels and lasers for brown spots. And so we're gonna lighten up this tattoo today. Right now, um, Tasha, our beautiful laser tech, is numbing up the area that we're going to treat. The ATV laser is a little bit more painful than the other lasers that we have at Johnson Dermatology. So to make your experience more comfortable, we numb you up first with a numbing medicine called lidocaine. We use a very, 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 very small needle, so the numbing process really is not a painful thing, and it makes your whole experience getting laser easier and less painful. We usually recommend that if you have a tattoo to be that you want removed, that you get five to 10 treatments, depending on different variables of your tattoo, about six to eight weeks apart. The way that the laser works, the ATV laser, it attacks the pigment and then your body comes and gets rid of it. And so you need to give your body that time to try to get rid of the pigment that we've broken up. The laser, since it does attack pigment, the best color or the most successful color to remove is black and the darker colors. Not to say we can't remove other colors, but that will help you. Um, there are other variables in terms of how many treatments you will need. A lot of it depends on how the age of the tattoo, so how long you've had it, um, and the inks used and that kind of thing. So it's hard for us to say exactly how many treatments, um, but if you don't give up, we won't give up. <laughs> um, the average is five to 10 though. This particular tattoo has only been treated two times. The last time we treated it was in August. Um, so she had a kind of black um, border with some reds and orange and yellows in the middle. Um, I don't know if you can even tell what it is anymore, but um, because she's had such great results after just two treatments, but you can see where the black border, there's like, a, it was a bird. And so you can see the beak here and the wing here. And so we're going to laser that for the third treatment today. So as you can see, you know, some people would be happy with that level of removal. And so another factor into how many treatments you need are what are your expectations. So some people may say, I just want to lighten it up enough to where it's not as obvious. And some people are like, I want it gone, gone. Um, in terms of aftercare for this, it will get kind of like a blistery sore today. And we will ask our patient to keep this spot really, really greasy with Vaseline until it's healed. Our goal is our sweet um, Tasha. Everybody that gets laser around her can tell her congratulations because she's pregnant. So squeezing into tight spots is getting a little bit tougher for her. But um, anyways, the, keep it greasy with Vaseline until it's healed. You want to try to prevent it from getting a crusty scab. And whether you want to keep it covered or not is kind of up to you. I mean, if you're going to be out in the dirt, dust, and grime, we'd probably tell you to keep it covered. But if you're just laying around the house, it doesn't necessarily need to be covered with like a bandage, but it does need to have Vaseline over it, which a lot of people tell us that's what they tell you when you get a tattoo. So a lot like that, you don't want it to scab. You want to just keep it greasy with Vaseline. During, and so this part, obviously, she's feeling because we're numbing it up, but when we start lasering, it'll just be much easier because she's numb. Um, does anybody, if anybody has any questions, feel free. There's really no, like, downtime with it. It's really pretty easy. Um, what else? Just ready to laser. Just a little bit more. Are you feeling any of this? Okay. So she says she's not feeling any of these needle sticks. So that means she is numb and about ready for a treatment. Um, another thing we would say that I didn't mention is we would not want to laser you whenever you're tan. And we wouldn't want you getting a lot of sun exposure um, because that can cause scarring and discoloration. So we would ask you to be your natural color when the color God made you when we laser you. Some um, other fun things of lightening up and pack up that we're doing. Oh, they're telling me I have to put my goggles on. 
safety first, everybody. So the laser is light. It's light that's attacking that pigment, and so we have to protect our eyes when while we're lasering. And um, some other things that we're going to be that are exciting at the clinic to lighten up with is there is a new Life Terra out, Life Terra 2.0, which is a lightener and a brightener cream for those of you that don't know. A lot of you that probably used Lyterra and loved it, this is the new and improved Lyterra. Works a little bit faster. Actually does not have a retinol in it, so it's safe for pregnancy. So if you're a pregnant girl out there suffering with melasma or pregnancy mass, brown spots, the Lyterra 2.0 would be a great option for you. We're going to be doing lots of live lighten up videos. She's going to get started here. So um, I'm going to pause what I was talking about and let you go ahead and start lasering her so that they can see. So as she is lasering, you can kind of see that light. I don't know if you can appreciate it on Facebook Live, but as she's lasering, that little light is attacking the pigment, and you'll actually immediately kind of see a lightening of the tattoo. That's not the end result, but you can see what the laser is doing, attacking that pigment there. And so it's kind of a fun thing to watch be lasered. Because it, it's like Tasha's just erasing the tattoo, which is kind of cool. Um, so while y'all are watching that, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. But um, Lightera is great. That's one of the things that we can do to lighten up. Another thing is with this ATV, while she's lasering and you're watching, we will use this ATV sometime on brown spots to lighten up brown spots. If you have just like one brown spot on your hand that you want removed, we can do that with the ATV. The other laser that we have that helps with brown discolorations and lightening those up is the IPL laser, which is a laser that kind of just lightens and brightens and actually even has some tightening and smoothing of the skin effect. And so the IPL is really nice for a larger area. Like if you wanted to treat all of your arms or all of your chest or your full face, the IPL would be better for just what we call diffuse sun damage or kind of brown all over instead of just one spot. But this laser that you're looking at works really well if you have just like one brown spot on your hand that you want us to remove. It does really well with that. You can see she's getting kind of red already. Um, not blistered yet, but you can see where she's getting that kind of red irritation from the laser. She can't feel this right now because that is all numb. Tash is now doing kind of like a second pass for more aggressive results. And so she's just kind of going over there, making sure we got every little bit of that tattoo really well. Tasha has been with the clinic for almost five years now, and she is directly supervised by Dr. Sandy and trained by her. She does great work, and a lot of you probably have met her and love her already. So as easy and quick as that was, she is done with her treatment. She will come back in six to eight weeks for her fourth treatment if she has any of her tattoo remaining. But other than that, that's all there is to it. Keep it greasy with Vaseline until it's healed and we'll see her in six to eight weeks. So this is really a no downtime easy procedure. People come on their lunch break and do it and go back to work and go about their business. So if you're interested in lightening up your tattoo, I would encourage you to email Tasha at Johnson Dermatology with any questions or either one of our cosmetic coordinators, Bridget or Danny. We will throw their emails in the comments. Um, so you can find them there and we would really appreciate you kind of reaching out to them. Um, we love answering your questions. We appreciate you guys watching these live videos. If there's anything you guys want to see this month in terms of lightening up, let us know. We're going to try to do some more Facebook live videos of all the lightening up options we're offering in February. I hope you guys have a great, great weekend. I hope you enjoyed watching us do this laser treatment today. I am out of here. Happy weekend.